What's up to my friends on YouTube? Today I will be giving you a cut the rope walkthrough today, walking you through all of the levels of cut the rope, cut the box. This is just a compilation of all of the past walkthroughs that I do. And if you need help on any other walkthroughs, be sure to check the link at the top of the description and you will see a playlist for all other cut the rope videos on my channel. It's just make a swift cut. There is really no way that you could mess this up. So there you go, you could see that I got three star now, got the excellent, and we are gonna move on to the next level. On to level two, already pretty simple. You just try to get the velocity down. You cut the ropes from left to right. So cut the, you know, the left one, the middle one, and then the one all the way on the right, and then you should be good. Just make sure that they get you get the momentum with the candy. For this one, you're gonna end up cutting the rope in the top right there, letting it swing to get the star all the way at the top, and then swing once more time so that you could get the star to the right of that, and then you will have the three star as it glides into Omnom. Moving on to level three here, first cut you're gonna make is the top string at, at the top there, then the one on the right, letting it slide and get the star, and then finally the one at the bottom swings to get the star and then eventually swings into Omnom's mouth. We are finally on the fifth level here, the last of this episode, and this is testing out the bubble of this, which you are going to see quite often. So what you're going to do is cut the top rope and let it get inside of the bubble and let it travel all the way to the top until it is parallel with the bottom star as well as Omnom at the bottom, and then you can just slice it and it will run and get the star and fall into his mouth. And this is another level here that's kind of just testing the bubble mechanics. Just be sure to cut the rope, and then the candy is going to land in the bubble, get the first star, let it rise to the top to get the second bar star, and then you could pop the bubble right before it gets to the top, and you will get the third star at the bottom before it goes into Om Nom's mouth. On to the seventh level here, there are six different ropes that you could cut here, so it is a little tricky to know what you have to do, and this is all using momentum, so just be sure to let the candy swing into the star before you end up doing the next cut. So the top left corner is first, the one all the way at the top is second, the bottom left corner is third, and then you have the first star that you got, and then you cut the top right corner, and then there's two strings, you're going to cut the bottom right corner, and then there should just be the bottom one for the candy there. Let it swing and get both of the stars, and then you could use the momentum to get into Om Nam's mouth. On this one, it already starts out swinging, so what you're going to do is use the momentum that is already swinging there, get the first star, and then get into the bubble, and then you could get the third star at the top, and then pop the bubble before it gets to the top, and it will land into Om Nam's mouth. Moving on, we have this level here. There's two strings in the bubble. You're going to cut the top string and let the bubble happen. It's going to get the first and second star, and then you're going to cut the third string. Let it get momentum to get the third star, and then it will f rise up and eventually get into Om Nam's mouth. Finally, level 10 here, kind of a break level as it's showing you the mechanics of automatic ropes. All you're going to do is just cut each rope. As you go down the line, it's pretty self-explanatory. As you can see here, you will get all three stars without even trying, and it will get into Om Nam's mouth without even trying. And opening it up number 11, you will see that it has the dotted circles around there, meaning that the lines are under it. So the first thing that you're going to do for this level is cut the little rope all the way to the right. And then cut the middle rope. It's going to connect to the rope that's all the way to the left. And then you could just connect and go around the circle to get the first star. And then drop below to go ahead and get the second star. And then drop below again to go ahead and get the third star. This is kind of just testing out the dotted circle still. And it's a pretty easy level overall if you just go through like I did. We're now moving on to level 12 of the cardboard box. You can see here that it is showing off the stretch of the ropes that is in there, and then the slack is showing that it's red. So once you cut the bottom rope, it's going to go ahead and shoot out and get that first star, and then connect to the top rope at the top there. And you're going to go ahead and cut the original rope there, and then drop and get down the star to the right. It's going to attach onto another rope, and then it should swing with the momentum to get the star that's all the way to the left.
I'm now going to move on to the 13th level, which is one of the harder levels that we have had in this entire series so far, but you should be able to figure it out with the candy. Starting swinging at the bottom, you're going to go ahead and get it to the bobble, bubble to the right, as you can see. It's going to get the star as it floats up. You're going to wait to float to the top, and then as the momentum comes down, you should be able to get to the third star, like I saw right there, and then it's going to go ahead and float up and get right into his mouth to get the three star right there. Here is level 14. You're going to do the obvious action of slacking the, the rope. It's going to fall down, get the star, float up, get the second star, a latch onto the rope again, and you could pop the bubble and then have it go right into the candy as you could saw here. This is just a quick level. As it goes up, just slice the ropes right away for level 15, and then it's going to go up and get the stars. It is a super easy technique to finish this level if you just go with the technique of slicing the rope each time the candy floats up, and you could just slice the rope, and it's going to continue to go up in the straight path. But if you let it have some slack, then it's going to go out of line, and then it could mess up the entire level of getting you three stars. Jumping into level 16 though, what you're going to end up doing is hit that rope all the way to the top left corner. It's going to swing a little bit, get that second star, and then hit the other rope, and it's going to swing again, and eventually get that third star and slide right into Omnom's mouth. Just a level of different swings, really. Same with this one. You're going to hit the rope on the top left corner, and it's going to swing a little bit. Then you hit the bottom one, and then the one in the middle, and it's going to swing again into Omnom's mouth. Very similar as the last level, actually. And now we're going to move on to level 18. Moving on to level 18 here. What you're going to end up doing is just hit the rope to the top left corner again. Swing and get the first star. Then hit the other rope at the swap. Swing and get the second star. Then hit the third rope that is closest to the top. It's going to swing again. And then eventually with that rope all the way to the left, it's a pretty heavy swing. But you could use momentum and time it right so that it just flies into Om Nam's mouth. Then again on this level, it was kind of quick there, but you saw me just swipe the candy down into the bubble, swing it around, get the second star, the third star, and then into Om Nam's mouth. Here with this level, it's giving you the tutorial of cutting several ropes at once, as you could see, and I just take these ropes and just slide them down both, and it's going to get all three stars there and have the same situation of having to cut both ropes at once, and then you could just do the exact same thing, and it will get into Om Nam's mouth to complete the level. And hopping into this level, you may or may not see this prompt come up right here asking you to use the magnet and just kind of try it out, its features. This is not really going to destroy how this level is played. All you really do is just cut the side ropes and the middle ropes at the same time down the middle. And then the candy is going to is gonna rise up in the bubble. And then you're going to pop it once you get that star at the top. So you could rise back or you could go back down again and get that star at the bottom. And then you will have the full three star getting that third star coming back to the top. Moving on to level 22, you're going to end up splitting the rope in the top right corner there. It's going to swing, get that star as well as the bubble. You could pop the bubble, and then you're going to cut the rope at the top there, and the bottom rope is going to swing to get the second bubble and the second star. You're going to wait for the bubble to rise until it is parallel with the star as well as on them, and then you could slip the rope and it will get into his mouth as well as land that third star. Moving on to the walkthrough though, you're going to end up slicing the top two ropes as you could see there so that there's only four ropes remaining. And then from here you're going to hit the top right corner one to get that star all the way to the left. And then you're going to hit the bottom rope one and then you could hit the one that is remaining to the left. And real quickly, as you cut that last rope, you're going to have to cut it quickly as the rope is going to swing with the candy and you want it to swing so it is parallel with Omnum and that bubble is going to rise right into his mouth. So it might take a little practice to be able to maneuver that move, but you should be able to get the hang of it fairly quickly. As you can see, that little foreshadowing hint there that you need to move fast as these are red ropes and it is a slingshot just waiting to be loose. As you can see there, I kind of messed it up, but you start by lifting the bottom one and as the bottom one is cut, you're going to cut the top two at the same time as quick as possible, kind of like a slingshot like I said, and it should slingshot into Om Nam's mouth. As you can see there, even I had a little bit of trouble being able to do so, but you should be able to get it within your first couple attempts after knowing that this is the method that you have to do so.
Jumping into this level though, the ropes that are connected to the candy, you're going to cut both of them at the same time, and then it's going to fall and get caught up in two ropes again, as well as the bubble, and you're going to cut these two ropes again at the same time as well, and then a similar situation with the two ropes, once you get that third star, and then for the final time, you just cut both of the ropes at the same time, you will get that final star, and it will drop into Am Nam's mouth, giving you a three star on this final level of cardboard box, and giving you a three star for the entire series, which is quite a satisfactory feeling. But that is all I have for you today though. If you did have any questions or were confused at all throughout this cardboard box walkthrough, comment them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that though, if you found this helpful today, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.